Today in the news we've got some good old blue glue, some more epic stories, and 5.1 gigahertz. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Late night on Tuesday, Intel decided it was time to announce some new products. With AMD firing on all cylinders, I think it was about time to hear something from Intel. Their Intel Xeon Scalable Platinum processors are getting four new SKUs. Two of them are 32 core processors, one is a 48, and their top of the line Xeon Platinum 9282 is a multi-chip module of two 28 core dies. That's 56 cores and 112 threads. It is a Cascade Lake processor and each die will have 6 channels of DDR4 memory for a total of 12. Now I know, this is still technically a Skylake refresh, so I guess we have to add another plus to the 14 nanometers. At least, Intel has apparently added some instruction sets that are relevant for high performance computing and AI. I mean, it's not as impressive as AMD's upcoming 7 nanometer EPIC processors, which will have 64 cores, but we don't know how good the IPC of Zen 2 is just yet, and Intel has the upper hand in that department. The biggest issue in this attempt to compete with AMD is that this whole lineup uses ball grid array and not land grid array processors, which means that it's not in a socket, it's just soldered directly to the motherboard, making potential upgrades inaccessible to older servers. It's a bold choice, but clearly a stopgap solution for Intel to stay competitive. Next up, it looks like Epic Games just won't stop with the exclusives. I honestly didn't expect this, but it looks like Gearbox will give the PC exclusivity of Borderlands 3 to the Epic Games Store. I mean, at least it's not a year-long exclusive. The game is releasing on September 13th, and the exclusivity will lift in April of 2020, so about six months. Now you might be thinking, this is bad, right? But Epic seems to be changing their tactics a bit, and I do kind of like what they're doing now. They want won't just snatch exclusives for the sake of it. It seems like they're just open and willing to sign funding for games and the publishers slash developers have the choice. If they need the extra funding, they could go to Epic Games and Epic would have the exclusivity. The publishers have a choice, so I'm going to stop blaming Epic from now on. I'm just going to blame the game publisher. Anyways, for Borderlands 3, one thing that is interesting is that it has been developed in partnership with AMD. So Ryzen CPUs and Radeon GPUs will definitely be optimized for that game. Maybe we'll even get an AMD Never Settle bundle with Borderlands 3. Did anyone here buy an AMD GPU with a Never Settle bundle? I remember I did back, I think it was like in 2011. It was a Radeon 7970 and I got Crisis 3, Far Cry Blood Dragon, and I don't remember the third game. Then we have Gigabyte with a pretty interesting offering. If you wanted to build yourself a baller liquid cooling system with RGB lighting and all the bells and whistles, and you wanted an overclocked 9900K at 5.1 gigahertz, you'll have to play the silicon lottery and you'll have to basically spend a good amount of time tweaking everything for stability. Well, if you have the money and you don't wanna spend time messing around in the BIOS, Gigabyte is offering the Z390 Aorus Extreme Water Force 5G Premium Edition Bundle. It's a 9900K CPU pre-overclocked at 5.1 GHz with a Z390 motherboard that includes a monoblock for water cooling. The bundle costs 900 bucks, which is a pretty good deal considering the $520 for the CPU, $550 for the motherboard, and $350 for the monoblock. Personally, I always try to go for the cheapest components possible with a good track record. So this wouldn't really be interesting to me. Plus, it's a 300 series motherboard right now at 500 bucks, and I have a feeling that Intel will switch their pinouts in the next generation, so I would still go for a cheaper board even if I wanted to go Intel right now. By the way, I'm still collecting comments, so if you have any specific topics you would like my opinion about, leave it down below and you might be featured in one of the future episodes. I'm just working on trying to fit it into a segment right now. Don't forget to drop a like if you liked it, click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Stay frosty, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, I'm sorry, I worked out a little too hard a few days ago, so I'm not able to really lift my arms and point properly. So yeah, I'm just gonna play the audio of me tapping the table and snapping from another, uh, another episode, right?